facing a primary challenge amid Republican unrest over his expansion of taxpayer-funded abortions, Gov. Bruce Rauner is offering a new answer to why abortion opponents should support him, look at what his wallet has done. I am the strongest supporter of candidates for office who are pro-life. Nobody has worked harder to elect pro-life Republicans than I have and I remind everybody of that. I have fought hard, Rauner said Friday on WJPFM 1340 in Heron when asked what he was telling angry social conservatives. I supported Bill Brady when he ran. I'm supporting Erica Harold, the governor said of the unsuccessful 2010 GOP candidate for governor and current Republican contender for attorney general, respectively. I'm supporting legislators who are pro-life. I am a strong ally and strong supporter for pro-life candidates. During his interview with the radio station, which bills itself as the voice of Southern Illinois, Rauner did not explain his reasons for signing the legislation or his personal values in support of abortion rights, a motivating factor behind the Republican primary challenge he now faces from state rep. Jean Ives of Wheaton When Rauner signed the controversial abortion measure in September, he acknowledged he had voted for and supported public officials and public servants who are pro-life. But the governor also said by signing the measure, he was being true to my values and my views. I have always been true to those. David Yepsen, the former director of the Paul Simon Public Policy Institute at Southern Illinois University at Carbondale, said he doubts Rauner's latest explanation will satisfy social conservatives particularly downstate. I don't think this is going to wash with pro-life Republicans. Rauner's just coming off as being all over the map on this, trying to have it both ways and it's already earned him a primary. He needs to come up with a better answer, Yepsen said. To be sure, Rauner, a wealthy former private equity investor, has a history of giving to Republican candidates who oppose abortion rights, including Mitt Romney, John Huntsman and Tim Pawlenty in the 2012 battle for the GOP presidential nomination. But Rauner also has given money to GOP candidates who support abortion rights, including Carl DeMeo of San Diego, a gay Republican who unsuccessfully ran for Congress, and, closer to home, former U.S. Sen Mark Kirk and former North Shore Rep. Robert Dold. Previously, Rauner contributed to Democratic candidates and causes backing abortion rights, including the Democratic National Committee in 2000 and the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee in 2003. In 2001, Rauner gave to U.S. Sen. Dick Durbin, Mayor Rahm Emanuel's Congressional Fund, and then Montana Sen. Max Baucus. The governor and wife Diana Rauner also were listed as $50,000 sponsors of a Planned Parenthood Illinois fundraiser in April. At the time, Gov. Rauner had vowed to veto the abortion expansion legislation. State Rep. David McSweeney, a frequent critic of Rauner who has endorsed Ives for governor, said that in the Southern Illinois interview, it sounded to an uninformed listener that Rauner was opposed to abortion rights. He happened to be on a very popular Southern Illinois radio station and of course down there he told everybody he's pro-life.